afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago Cubs and the Philadelphia Phillies. Stay tuned for Phillies baseball next. Zach Wheeler is ready to go as he's on the mound for the Phils. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, you take a look at this guy's number. One of the things that jumps out at you is that ERA. It's into the fours. But that doesn't necessarily indicate what kind of pitcher this guy is. If he brings his A game, he can shut anybody down. The problem he's had so far this season, he's been a little bit inconsistent. He's a better pitcher than that ERA over the fours indicates. Now at the plate, Chris Bryant. He will lead this one off today. First pitch on its way. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. First pitch, 107. The 1 0 home. And a great day for baseball here. 81 degrees at first pitch. The 1 1 home. Ball, that's it. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. The 2 2. A shot to second base and handled for the first down. With that, a look at the Cubbies' starting lineup. Thoughts, Dan? Who stands out? Well, you know, the key for this ball club has been Jason Hayward. He's having a really nice season, hitting over 300 coming into this one. And we all know that that's the magic number. When you hit over 300 for a season, you've got plenty to be proud of. Now we'll see if he can keep it up over the rest of the year. Ball one to start the at-bat. One out, nobody on. Now a curveball misses inside. Modi playing here in his age 26 season. He was taken in the 18th round during the first year player draft of 2012. Man coming out of the late rounds you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment. On a line that's a base hit. You think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two at bats. Both of them hit on the absolute screws. One's right at one guy, and then one's a single. Go figure. Here's Javier Baez as he connects on the first pitch with a fly ball to center. Williams is there, two gone. And this throw gets away from him. That is cool. Now at the plate, Wilson Contreras. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. First pitch coming. Here it is. And this winds up inside for a ball. 2-0 and now. 2-0 to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. Three and oh now. If I'm managing this hitter right here, he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach. You know he's got the green light. He's one of the best hitters in your lineup. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Williams has to retreat to the track but he has it to retire the side one left for the Cubs now it'll be the Phillies turn no score Kyle Hendricks starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series Dan Plezak what's the word on him 
Boy, here's an interesting pitcher. He actually pitches better on the road than he has at home this season, which is not an easy thing to do. Sometimes guys just like being on the road, being in a different hotel, uh, warming up and going out onto a different mound. Whatever the case, this guy definitely loves pitching on the road. And that misses inside 1 0. Dan Dero, the Cubs, as they take the field here this afternoon, they come in playing well. Six and three over the last nine ball games, including a victory last time out. Hey, thanks, Matty. Hey, you know what, Dero? Try to get on a kind of a little mini winning streak here. Losing the first game of this series, winning game two, and hopefully winning this series by pulling one out here today. Yeah, Dan, they were able to shower that first loss off in the first game of the series and had a nice bounce back game yesterday. Let's see if they can steal the series right here. A moment now to check out the hometown Phil's starting lineup. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Well, Matt, I appreciate the way Bryce Harper plays the game he's coming off a month where he had double digit totals in home runs if you're looking at one category and you like the long ball this is the guy to watch one of the best power threats in the game right now and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for hit sharply on the ground to the left and a base hit into left field, so they've got themselves a one-out base runner. That's what you want the guys at the top of the order to do. Set the table for the Monsters, three, four, five. Nice piece of hit. Coming to the plate now, Bryce Harper. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. Now time to list the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Jerry Hillsdale. Dero, Jerry Hillsdale might be one of the more solid everyday umpires in the league right now. Yeah, I think he's one of the best in the business, Dan. High praise all around. You go into both meetings with the managers, and what do they do? They rave about Jerry Hillsdale. And it's fouled away. The next 0 2. Misses. That's ball one. So that's two pitches in a row above the belt. As a hitter, that's what you're looking for, especially when it's a day game and the ball is carried. That just wasn't a good enough pitch to hit. Here he comes again, 1-2. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it. You know it. Keep executing. Maybe get him to roll something over. The 2-2 two -two one more time. He swung on and missed strike three. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he that goes down good. on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first yeah. inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. No balls and a strike to count. 0 oh, 1, here's the pitch. McCutcheon leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. And it's 1 and 2. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. And he fouls this one off. Here's the 1 and 2 delivery. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. One left for Philadelphia. And this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Here's Jason Hayward now. A couple of hits for him on four trips to the plate last night. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Too low, 1 0. Hayward. Or often just Jay Hay. It was selected in the first round back in the draft of 2007. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. 
Hey, after that base knock right there, he's into that double hit. digits, Dero. The That's a 10-game hitting eight. streak. Oh, you talking yeah. about double digits, Ten. Dan. Now it's getting firm. We're seeing the batting average go up. We're seeing the homers go up. We're seeing the RBIs go up. Everything is moving north. Stepping into the box, Ian Happ. And as we give you a look at his splits, he's had the better of right-handers this season, no doubt about that. Fouled away. And he misses with it, one and one. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. A ball and two strikes from Zach Wheeler. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because if it's put in play, there's a good chance it's on the ground for a double play. And hey, a strikeout always works too. So in now for Chicago, Anthony Rizzo. And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. Hit down the line at first, but this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Hey, you guys know me. Hitting's a process of elimination, and I'm eliminating the change up this next pitch. I'm on everything else. A ball and two strikes to Anthony Rizzo. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. This is skied into short left center. McCutcheon comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two. Batting eight. The second baseman, Jason Kipnis. So we're runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And standing in now, the power hitting second baseman, Jason Kipnis. From the belt, the pitch. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Nope. Outside. No score here as we play inning number two. A ball and two strikes to Kipnis. Ball two. Two strikes. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Cubs strand one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here's Didi Gregorius. Power a big part of his game as he enters this contest number five in the National League home run race. Yeah, this guy there dropped nine big flies last Eight. month, and he has rocketed up the leaderboard. Yeah, D-Road, nine bombs in a month. You better be awful careful pitching to this guy. He's swinging the bat great right now. Popped him up. Bryant in foul ground, but this will land untouched. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Got him. I'll tell you, it's hard to get more of a confidence boost than striking out the best hitters in the lineup. Back to back to back. He's looking really sharp right now. Real Muto. To the plate now, JT Real Muto. 
So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Real Muto, the former Miami Marlin, he was acquired via trade last year. Yeah, this guy's fully settled in with this ball club right now. Knows what the manager and coaching staff expect from him. Is not taken aback by anything. He's been through the spring training process and gotten to know everybody in this organization top to bottom. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. There to take it is Rizzo, and there are two away now. Up next will be Nick Williams. He's hitting 333 in the series, two for six. And a changeup here misses off the corner to start him out. It's ball one. Hard hit ball to second. And that is through into right field for a single. Striding in, Scott Kingery. He'll get to take his first cuts here. From the belt, the pitch. Bottom of the second here with no score. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Grounder down the line at third. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Fouled off. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Hit on the ground out to short. Baez fields it cleanly. Throw in time and the side is retired. Philly strand one will move to the third with no score. Digging in, Kyle Hendricks, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He's through first and hustling for second. The relay, but the throw is offline, and he's in there with two bases. He went with the slider, but the hitter wasn't now fooled for a second. Her gets the barrel of the bat through the zone and rips it down the line for a leadoff double. Here's Chris Bryant now as he'll take a look at ball one. He hit the ball hard but lined out to start the ball game. That evens it up one and one. A runner at second nobody out. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Bryant looking at a three and one count. This is where you cash your checks right here. Three one. You're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. There's ball four. Man, the pitcher's wondering how he didn't get that call. Busted him inside on a 3 1 count, and the ump thought it was just a tad off the plate. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind an account like that, though. Stepping into the box, David Bodie, a base hit in his first trip. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield, he's going to wave them. None out, runners at first and second. Behind 0 and 2 now.
fastball called strike three and there's the first down of the inning. Some guys with big arms like this they're just chuckers. They just throw the ball as hard as they can and where it ends up isn't that big of a concern but that wasn't the case there. That was a very well pitched fastball right on the corner at the knees. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field but that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. Hendricks isn't stopping here he comes to the plate and he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. When this thing left the bat I thought it had three run homer written all over it but it bounces off the wall so only one run scores and now a chance for his buddy to return the favor and bring in one or maybe two. Here's the young catcher Wilson Contreras as he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little it's 0 and 1. He's got a chance to add to this early lead as he'll bat with a couple of guys in scoring position. Now a fastball here not close and it's 1 and 1 now. Pretty good pitch right there fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher try to stand those hitters up. The set and the 1 1 pitch. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Down the third baseline. But well, this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. A ball and two strikes from Zach Wheeler. Hard on the ground towards short. And that is through into left field. A base hit. Now the relay home and not in time as he just crosses the plate in time. That's what we refer to in the biz as a hanger right now there. Back. He's lucky he's getting his baseball back. That'll bring up Jason Hayward as he rips it on the ground to second. Segura for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. More matinee baseball here on a Wednesday afternoon following this. We're back now as the Phillies prepare for their at bats here in the third inning and this lineup has been terrific for this club all year coming into the day they are up near the top of the league in home run production so it's certainly safe to say they're a fun bunch to watch swing the bats when asked about their success with the long ball one player told me yeah home runs are fun and they can change a whole game so when we get a pitch we can do damage on you better believe we're looking to launch Matt, back to you. Thank you Heidi. Oh a diving stop. It's late. He's safe. Remarkable play just to stop that ball but it's going to go into the books as a hit and the lead off. And as I thought might be the case based on how close that play was they're requesting a chance to review the replay and decide whether or not to challenge the safe call. Yeah Matt definitely a close play right there and we're going to take another look at it right here. Boy that's just so tough to tell for sure from that angle. And it looks like a no from the bench, so the call will stand as safe. Gene Segura standing in. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0 and 1. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Now the 0 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. From the stretch. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one make it four strikeouts already and there's your first out. Well it's still early but it's also Four's worth good. noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps Andrew. up as we take a look at the league leaders in games yeah. won this season. And as you see he's right up there among league leaders in that department. So the next hitter to dig in will be Andrew McCutcheon. From the stretch. On a line, that's a base hit. 
and they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. And from the list of stats you right never want to hear if you're a pitcher, we have this. Right. It's only the third Four inning, bar. and he's already allowed more hits than he did in his entire last outing. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. And they're runners at the corners now. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. Hey, now he's got me confused up here. This is a known sinker baller out on the mound trying to roll a double play, and he throws him a four-seamer. And it's fouled away. The one-two. Is swung on and missed. He got him. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. One and oh, the count. And he fouls this one off. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And he lays off upstairs, but it's ruled a strike, and he can't believe it. One and two. Two and two. Runners at the corners, two men out. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Baez has it. Throw on to first is in time, and the Phillies are turned away. They get nothing out of this situation as the inning is over. Phillies leave a couple, still down 3 nothing. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney standing by with a report. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cubs to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And one thing he mentioned is how well they're doing at simply putting the ball in play. Looking at the advanced data, our researchers found that about 9 of 10 swings are resulting in some sort of contact today, which is well above Major League average. The result has been a lot of balls in play, a lot of hits, and solid run production, guys. All right, thanks, Heidi. The wind up and the 0 1. Hit hard on the ground to second. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. The first base Good range shown off into the hole right the there. Lead. That's not an Good easy play. play, but these guys make it look that way sometimes. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Anthony Rizzo is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball. It's 1 0. Three runs, five hits, no errors so far for the Cubbies. Hit back up the middle. And that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. Dan, I'll tell you, it doesn't matter what it looks like right there. That long yeah, dart felt so good. Oh, Dero, this guy's been due. He really needed that one. And as the second baseman, Jason Kipnis, as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Kipnis, or Kip for short, he was taken in the second round back in the 2009 MLB draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone. He's fallen behind now, three and one. 
you know, I kind of see why his ERA is so high coming into this one. He's just putting these guys in too many good hitters counts. That'll catch up with you real quick. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. But he won't draw a throw. That's taken for ball four, and it's first and second now with one away. Looked like he might have gotten squeezed a little bit right there, and you know he's talking to himself in his head about it. That kind of stuff goes both ways, though. Hitters get their fair share of crummy calls going against them, too. The pitcher, Kyle Hendricks, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation, so let's see if that is indeed on right here. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1 0. Now, some action in the Phillies' bullpen as a right hander begins to crank it up out there. The set and the 1 0 pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. On the move is Harper, and no one will track it down. First and second now, one man out. Looking to drop one down, but he can't make contact. One and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Williams falls off the left fielder as he takes charge for the second out. Throw back to second, and that's a double play. So after the three spot last time around, he's able to bounce back and hang a zero here. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. Cubs lead it three to nothing. So now to the plate, D.D. Gregorius. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch of the at bat. Now the 1 0. He is looked at for the first strike. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Fouled away. Another one two delivery. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no-doubt home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Number 23 for him thus far, and the Phillies strike for a run. It's now a 3-1 to one ball game. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. Into the box, JT Realmuto. Now this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back-to-back -back jacks. JT Real Muto with a solo shot. 12 home runs for him now thus far. And the Phils have cut it to a 3 to 2 game now. Well, he won his last start, but he didn't give up any long balls. He's already given up two here, so he's got his work cut out for him if he's going to get the W on this one. He's going to have to start keeping the ball in the yard for starters. Now 
At the plate, Nick Williams. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. One for one after a single this first time up. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. The 1 0 he is swung on and missed in that strike one. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Two balls, two strikes to Nick Williams. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Rizzo was there, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. The batter, number four, second baseman, Kingery. Digging in now for Philadelphia, Scott Kingery. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last A.B. that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here, similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last A.B. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. It's never advantageous to fall behind 2 and 0 as a pitcher, but if you're going to do it, it's far better to do it with a guy down in the bottom of the order. Time for a challenge fastball right here, though. A bouncer up the middle. On to first, and there were two down. So with two gone here in the fourth, let's check out our pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And whoa, you see the big number. About 99 for a top speed. Not too many guys around the league can match that. Next up will be the Phillies pitcher, Zach Wheeler. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Down the first baseline. What a foul ball here. 0 and 1. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Two runs, six hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. So two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Cubs are on top, three to two. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First offering on its way. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Lays off again and it's 2 and 0. Swing and there it goes. Deep to left field. And gone up into the second deck. Chris Bryant leaves the yard with a solo shot. Home run number 15 for him thus far, and it gives the Cubs a 4 to 2 lead. Most pitchers aren't going to throw this guy much of a fastball to try to challenge him because this guy can hit him a mile just like he did with that swing right there. Impressive power. So now to the plate, David Bodie. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's one for two in this one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Chasing after it is Williams. But it's over his head and it hops the wall for a ground rule double. Now batting. There's a deep fly ball. It doesn't quite get out of the ballpark, but it hits in the right spot as it bounces off that hard warning track and over the wall for a ground rule double. Not sure if he had triple on his mind, 
but I doubt he'll complain too much about getting to coast into second base. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Hey, it's been a little bit of a rough outing for this guy in this one so far. And one thing you can look at if you want to get really picky, less than 60% of his first pitches have been for strikes. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Hit hard, but this will be a foul ball. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Now back. So a runner on second with one down now. And stepping up to hit next, the catcher, Wilson Contreras. First pitch coming here it is good pitch there had him a little out in front a ball and a strike he's not having his best outing in this one and I think that curveball is part of the reason why he couldn't get on top of that one and that's not the first time that's happened. A ball and two strikes. Well, as demonstrated there, that's a tough pitch to do anything with. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making contact on that pitch can be very tough. He throws him on the fastball there. Wilson Contreras goes down for out number two in the top half. He's set. Here it comes. Pulled toward right center field. Williams is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Cubs get a run here thanks to this solo home run. On to the bottom of the fifth. It's now 4 to 2, Chicago. And we're back from Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point. And he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Just missing here, 2-0. That'll find its way out of play. Still going to have a good hitter's count. Two and one now. Here it comes. Hit back toward the mound. Oh, and he misses it. And the throw won't be in time as he'll be able to beat out the recovery throw at first. And with that play over now, time to check and see if our man is all right. You can really see him favoring that leg. And that is his plant leg, which is always a concern. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay to try and continue. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Here's the 0 1. 4 2 our score here as we play inning number five. Fouled off. And the sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? And what's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Here's Bryce Harper now. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Runner at first here, one man out. One and two now. From the belt, the pitch. Now a hard liner, but foul. 
He'll try again, one, two. Nope. Pretty good pitch right here to a left-handed power hitter. The one thing you want to do, keep the ball inside so he can't get those long arms out and extended. Really good pitcher's pitch right there, even though he didn't get the called strike. Swing, and there it goes. He got all of this one. Into the second deck and gone. Two-run home run here for Bryce Harper. Number 23 for him thus far, as that'll pull him even at four apiece. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. Now she'll wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. Adi pops it up. Rizzo in foul ground, but this will land untouched. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ballgame. We know he's probably still thinking about that game-tying home run he just now gave up, but I'm going to give him credit for not showing that it bothered him. When you come back and strike out the next guy, it shows you've still got your head in the right place. Into the box now, Didi Gregorius. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Solo shot here to left is second of the game as they will take the lead here. It's now a 5-4 ball game. Standing in now, JT Real Muto. Real Muto. Yeah, so take a look at ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Line towards center field. Pap will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. Five innings complete. It's the Phillies five and the Cubs four. And that'll bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Ian Happ. Here comes the first pitch. In there for strike one. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. Hap with a two and one count now. We're starting to see a lot more balls from him now, and that's a direct result of him getting hit around pretty good. He's trying to do something different, and it's resulting in him not tacking the strike zone anymore. The 2 2. Grounded to the right. Kingery's there. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now batter, the first base. 
Anthony. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate. One for two on his line so far in the game. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. One and one, the count of the Cubs' first baseman. Hit hard on the ground to second. And there are two away now. Up next for the Cubs. Two away the now for the Cubs in the sixth. Jason. And standing in now, the power hitting second baseman, Jason Kipnis. And that misses for ball one. High in the air out to center field. Chasing after it is Williams. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Cubs are down in order. Still down a run. It's five to four. So coming to the plate, Nick Williams. Williams. He'll start things out against Kyle Hendricks as we get the inning underway. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. And it's quickly 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Lots of hits given up, but so far, no walks. At least he's making them work to get on base. Problem is, they haven't had to work too hard. There's a swing and a high, deep drive headed for the right field corner. But this one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance, though, as it landed in the upper deck. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there and pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. Hit sharply toward the right side. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first down. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swung on and missed that time. It's 0 and 1. The guy in the mound is having one heck of a night, but the downside of that, if you're going to strike out a lot of guys, your pitch count is going to be high. So this gives the offense some kind of hope as this game is getting down to the end. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit on the ground out to short. There's Baez. And there's out number two. Neil Walker will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. He's hitting for the Phillies. Number 12. Neil Walker. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. His matchup numbers with Hendricks. He's got five base hits in 16 tries. Weak grounder down the first baseline. Fielded cleanly. Onto the bag with it is Rizzo, and the inning is over. Phillies down in order. They lead it 5-4. to four. Sir Anthony Dominguez is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Hernan Perez will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. First pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1 and 0. Oh. 
swung on and lifted in the air to left center. McCutcheon is after it. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Now batter, third baseman, Chris Bryant. Trying to pick things up where he left off, Chris Bryant. It was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. One out, nobody on. That's inside. 2 0. Oh. Just missed with that heater, but even if he wanted to swing, I don't think he could have caught up to that one. Outside and low, 3 and 0. Oh. No surprise here that they're working around this big boy. Certainly not going to let this guy tie the game up with something fat out over the heart of the plate. Skied into straightaway right. Harper on the run. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. The batter, the left fielder, David Bodie. Into the box now, David Bodie. He doubled his last time through. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. McCutcheon is under it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Three up, three down for the Cubs. And the deficit holds at five to four. Jeremy Jeffress gets the call now, from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Jeremy Jeffress. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. A ball and a strike to the Phillies' leadoff man. When you've got a guy that throws a good two seam fastball you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. But this will be speared at third and that was self defense all the way. One gone. In now Andrew McCutcheon. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Outside target here and he hits it for strike one. One and one to Andrew McCutcheon. He's set. Here comes the one one. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s down in the zone. Looks like a fastball coming and then boom. The bottom falls out of it. Terrific pitch. He throws him on the fastball there. Andrew McCutcheon comes the second out of the bottom of the seventh. Bryce Harper will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. He's set and the pitch. Hit in the air out to left field. Bodie is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. So they breeze through this half of the inning. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the Phillies five and the Cubs four. Victor Neris has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. Ready to begin the eighth. Stepping up now, Javier Baez. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way and it's fouled away. Uh, offered it a low one there but came up empty. That's just a great pitch right there. Great execution. He just got that hitter to think that pitch was knee high. Nasty diving out of the zone. And he fouls this one off. Another 0 and 2 coming. This is line to left. McCutcheon is there and he has it for the out. Now a look there at the numbers for our two starters here today. With both guys recently departed from the ball game and looking on from the dugout. So one gone here in the Chicago eighth, and Wilson Contreras digs in at the plate. 
becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Boy, not the way he wanted to start out here. It's 0 and 1. A lot of movement that time. It's 0 and 2. Bases are empty, one man out. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. Two and two to the Cubs catcher. Well, he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone. But I think he's caught on to their game a little bit right now. Two tough pitches that he took with two strikes. Hit pretty well out to deep left field. That one is out of here. This game is tied. A solo shot here to left as we are all tied at five. Wow, talk about a guy getting hot, right? Hits a bomb, hit one yesterday. Usually when he gets hot, he starts to hit them in bunches. And this could be the beginning of a very, very good hot streak. Now back, right fielder, Jason Hayward. In now, Jason Hayward. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. Some activity out in the bullpen now as a couple of left-handers begin to stir. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Every pitcher gives up home runs, some more than others, but the best ones forget about them as soon as the next guy digs into the batter's box. He showed me a lot right there by going after the next hitter and striking him out on only three pitches. Ian Happ is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. The 0 1 offering. Both teams have nine hits on the scoreboard. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Misses, ball two. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. Not being very aggressive right now. Almost got him to go around, but instead it's ball three. He's set. The 3 2. Fouled away. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Cubs draw even thanks to this solo home run. Bottom of the eighth coming up. All even at five apiece. So here's the cleanup hitter, Reese Hoskins. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. So a new pitcher coming on now. We'll get a look at the hard throwing right hander Brandon Morrow. Ball one to start the at bat. The 1 0 home is offered at and missed for the first strike. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Here's the pitch. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Another strikeout for him on the mound. And boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, man. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. And his confidence has to be in a really good place right now, having already launched two balls over the fence in this one. 
A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. One out, nobody on. Fouled off. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. That was a big strike out there, guys. The best pitchers have the ability to strike guys out when they really need to. And that second out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Real Muto behind with an 0 and 2 count now. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. This guy's slider is so good. I think he might throw it again. Popped him up. Contreras is there. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. This remains a five all ball game. on the mound to start the ninth inning and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. All set for the start of the inning so striding in Anthony Rizzo. Leading off the cut the first baseman number 44 Anthony Rizzo. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Morgan is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced. And for a one time lefty specialist like this, that's a big change. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. At the plate now, Jason Kittness. A ball of no strikes. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. The 1 0 is taken, strike one. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Morgan comes into the day third in all star balloting among relievers, so we'll wait and see if he ends up receiving an invite. Yeah, and you don't want to leave it up to a manager's decision. You want to get in based on the fan vote, and he has a chance to do exactly that if he can make a late push as we head towards the Midsummer Classic. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Line towards center field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he is in the second base with one away as the go ahead run. And if the Cubs are thinking about turning to their bench here, there you get a look at what's available for them. Josh Begley will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Number four, Josh Begley. And this is low ball one. It's his job to get something into the outfield and give that go ahead run a chance to score from second. Downstairs two balls and no strikes. 
I don't mind him trying to pitch him backwards right there with those two early count sliders. But now he finds himself in a situation where he's going to have to come fastball. Now the 2 0. Popped him up. Kingery calls for it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now that third base. So a runner at second, two down now, and that'll bring up Chris Bryant. And it looks like they'd rather go after the next guy as the intentional walk signal comes here with two away. That's what's called getting now the treatment. Him. Everyone knows he's a power threat with the bat, so it's Holy all about not letting him be the guy that beats you. Now at the plate, David Bodie. He flew out in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch. Ooh, he's really in trouble, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. This guy needs to find the strike zone in the worst way. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Two men are on with two men out. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. The set and the two and one lifted in the air out towards left center. Williams will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Cubs strand a couple. Our score holds at five apiece. Kyle Ryan enters to do the pitching, and best case scenario for him is to push this one into extra innings. Kyle Ryan. Ball set for the bottom of the ninth. So stepping in, Nick Williams hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Now a drive to right field. This could do it. Game over. Walk off home run. A solo shot down the line in right, and with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. They say better late than never, and that's obviously something that he takes to heart as he puts a charge in one for a walk-off homer. Got to be the best feeling in all of baseball. And they did some damage offensively in this one, enough to get the win, and this man led the charge. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he came through with a multi-hit game, and more importantly, they were big hits. He was a key contributor to the outcome of this one. A one-run game, 6-5 to five, the final today. The Phillies blasted five home runs in route to victory. Adam Morgan earns the victory out of the bullpen, his fifth. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.